2021, it's not only important to get accurate solutions in your competitive exam, but it's all about doing it very quickly. We all know integration by parts. In case you have any confusion about that, then please do check out my playlist on integration and find the videos on integration by parts. The link for which you can get by clicking at the i button in the description box and at the end of this video. What if we have a shortcut way for integration by parts? Yes, let's discuss the same. The shortcut method is known as the tabular method, the DI method or the tic-tac-toe method. Let's get started. Now in today's video, we are going to discuss the shortcut method for when you have a polynomial function into another function. Now this fx could be a trigonometric function, sine of nx or cos of mx. Or it could be an exponential function. That is e to the power x, e to the power mx, anything. So looking at the first question, let's see the procedure. So as the method says di, that means you have to differentiate and you have to integrate. What do you do? You always take this as the first function and this as the second one. Obviously, even if you go by i late, this is algebraic function, this is trigonometric. Now, copy x square as it is and keep differentiating it until you get a 0. So, derivative of x square is 2x, derivative of 2x is a 2 and then derivative of 2 is a 0. So, we stop. For the next function, which is trigonometric function, you integrate. So, Integral of sine to x is minus cos 2x by 2. Now, integrate this one more time. So, this will be minus sine to x by 2 into 2. That will make it 4. Once again, integrate this. This would be cos of 2x because integral of sine is again minus. So, minus and minus would become plus upon 4 into 2 again 8 and here I leave it blank because it's anyway a 0 on the top. Having done that now we are going to take the plus sign here minus plus and minus and now all you need to do is multiply these component wise and then add to give the final answer. So these two getting multiplied gives us minus x square by 2 cos 2x. Here Multiplied together, this would give us x into sine 2x by 2 and this is minus, this is minus, that makes it plus. Similarly, this already has a plus sign 2 into this expression which gives us plus cos 2x by 4 and here it's anyway 0 into whatever, that's why we didn't integrate. Don't forget, since it's an indefinite integral plus c. Wasn't that simple? Explanation takes longer than what you can actually do. Moving on to the second question. Once again, I have numbered these as 1 and 2. And then we start by writing x raised to power 4 as it is. And now let's differentiate it. This is 4x cubed. This is 12x squared. This would be 24x. This would be 24 and then finally a 0. And the next one we start with the integral itself. Now e to the power x is such that it happens to be e to the power x throughout. So it's going to be the same. Even if you just write it once, that's okay. Now don't forget to put plus, minus, plus and then just keep alternating it. Now once again multiply these. So this would be x raised to power 4, this is minus 4x cubed. Of course, every time we are doing into e to the power x, let's just take it common. Plus 12x square minus 24x plus 24 into e to the power x and don't forget to write your c. Wasn't that easy? So now taking x as the first function again. I write x as it is, then I start differentiating. So this is 1 and then this is a 0. And 
I begin integrating it at the very beginning. So we get sin 3x upon 3. Next on integrating this again, we get minus cos 3x upon 3 into 3, that's a 9. Here I don't have to do anything since we already have a 0. Now put plus, minus and plus. And now the answer will be this multiplied, this will be x by 3 into sin 3x. Now minus and minus makes it plus, so it's plus 1 by 9 cos 3x. And here it is anyway a 0, so plus c. Wasn't that easy? I hope you enjoyed this trick. If yes, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for many more math videos. I will see you with the next trick very, very soon. Until then, bye-bye.